Hi. Oh, well, back from the bike ride, the weekly bike ride along the River Wandel. Beautiful day, autumn day. It's quite warm now. It was cold this morning. But we dress for it and we amble along looking at the wildlife and, and uh, the, the latest trolley, the supermarket trolley that's been slung in. Uh, but there's, men are still working on it, putting new bridges in over the small parts of the river. It's a constant effort to keep this river clean and lovely. But we do appreciate it. That's the Environment Agency in Thames Water. Uh, right, okay, so I'm not going to paint the, the Wandle today. I, I, uh, I did take a photograph or two, but there are too many leaves on the trees at the moment. I prefer the, the, the more autumn colours or with a winter uh, skeleton of the tree showing through. Much more scope for drawing. So I'm going to do a similar sort of a Lake District type of scene. I like, love the Lake District. I've only been there a couple of times for holidays, but uh, I invent the things anyway, and I put in them what I want to put in. Beaches, bits of rock, all the cliches. But everyone turns out differently. So here's my palette. There's uh, lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, Payne's grey and burnt sienna. It's the old Ron Ransom palette. And the 45mm, or nearest damn it, 2 inch hake. The Ron Ransom hake. No other. These are superb for what they, they do. They last quite a while. But once they start to go, then they're cheap enough to, to replace. This is Fabriano, 150, 130 pounds. Um, uh, and it's a lovely paper for, for, for this wet in wet. It's 15 inches by 11. All these pieces of paper that I use are that size. But if I use the stuff that David Dickinson's given me, some of it is 16 by 12. So it's a slightly larger. But uh, I enjoy my wet in wet. So I save up the arches and the saunders, uh, cold pressed uh, for a rainy day. Uh, right, okay. So we'll wet the paper all over. I've got a great big water jug here, pot. I think it was an old pill bucket. You know, things that you buy in bulk from the uh, health food shop, that sort of thing. And I just just cut it just to show you, I'll show you. There it is. It holds about, oh, at least ooh, two, three litres. There's the hake in comparison to it, so you can get some idea of scale. It's a big pot. Uh, let's come up here. Okay. Right, well, oh, let's get that more centre. Okay. Right, I'll, I'll put in some raw sienna. This warms it up, gives a background to the clouds. So a bit of light in the sky. This is quite new sienna. I squeezed it out yesterday. I'm going to put in a bit of alizarin. Quite like alizarin low down. But whatever you put on is going to dry three shades lighter. Okay, so a bit of cloud now, so clean the palette. I'll just, I'll just re clip it. When it, the paper expands with as the water dries into it, just Pull it and reclip it. It's pretty tough. I don't think I've ever yet uh, split a piece of paper by stretching it like that. So it's now nearly not quite perfectly flat, but flat enough. Right, so ultramarine. When I hate splits, just dip it into the water, just the tips, put your pigment on, and you'll see that it will come back together. So a bit of alizarin, a bit more ultra, and a bit of light red. Right, so let's just keep this 
one side bit darker maybe. This is the water here. And we'll darken that somewhat. Try to keep the light in the middle. Okay. While the paper's wet, you can do a lot of things with it. So, uh, I'll put a bit of that reflection of the sky in the water. Bush, a bit of a dry, and then I'll, I'll dry the paper a little bit. So take your headphones off or mute for this little bit. Go. <coughs> <coughs> right, let's have a fairly high horizon. I'm using those colours for the trees, oh trees for, for the for the distant hills, a bit of alizarin. Don't want it too wet. Bit of alizarin in there. Bit of sienna. Okay, that's the general idea. We're going up a little bit. Right, now let's get some nice, thick, juicy paint in here. Get some sienna, burnt sienna. Okay, now we'll develop this thick, almost tube consistency now. For here. Could he even make some sort of pines? Trying to get some of that new burnt sienna that I squeezed out yesterday, but it's not playing ball at the moment. It doesn't seem to want to. I don't know why. But I put quite a bit of this lovely rich ultramarine. So very, very thick, a bit too thick actually. I know a lot of you like these made up ones. The thing is to have a go yourself. Don't worry about the paper, the paper's cheap enough with Fabriano. If you can get it, that's it. Okay, so that's enough. Let's just put in a little bit of card work. Here's my tea. Uh, because it's dark, the, these rocks show up quite well. So that's the idea of putting darks in. 
is that you can scrape out to your heart's content and try not to overdo it like I am. Right, that's really good. The thing is to have fun. Don't, don't beat yourself up over it. It doesn't work. Just keep at it. It took me quite a long time to learn to do all this. And I'm still learning. I'm always torn between the acrylic, acrylic and, uh, and the watercolour. I love acrylic. I love the things it can do. And this is so hard, this uh, lemon yellow. Let's see if I can just get some. I have to give it a bit of a clean. You need a nice piece of, of rag. some dark in there, some dark greens here, over those bits of rock. Okay, we'll let that go for a minute. Let's go on to the other side. So we want warmer colours, so sienna. Change that shape a little bit. Okay, we'll put the reflections in later. Let's have some burn umber on that for, the, for a bit of a piece from the other side and a bit of sienna. I'm just letting the, the, the brush flash around and do what it wants to do. I'm not uh, paying attention to any conventions or it's just abstract. This is abstract painting, making as we go along, but it's still. It's got a sort of a, a landscape feel, but it's, it doesn't exist in reality. Uh, let's get all this in here, a little thick, thick colours. And I can go over this with a rigger to, to add more detail. Oh, really good, go for it Dave. Get stuck in, get all these lovely colours, bit of red, to warm it up. A red and a sienna, a bit of blue, so this is where we can, can really make hay. Right, let's get some a bit of depth in these now, a bit of shadow. Right. Now some scrubby stuff here. That really is going lovely and tuby colour, tuby consistency there. Rock card, bigger rocks. smaller as we come into this further back. We're going to spend too much time doing these. I 
can put a tree in here somewhere. Just something. <clears throat> okay. Right. Clean the brush. Clean the palette. Ah, oh, it's lovely this painting now, isn't it? Hope you're enjoying it. Right, that's a little bit of paper and clean up on it. A lovely day for a bike ride. We really don't go fast enough to do ourselves any good, really. We say hello to all the joggers, but they've usually got headphones on, so they don't really hear us. Even when they do hear, hear us, they don't even say hello back. So they think, oh, that's nice. Excuse me while I take my sweatshirt off. It's getting rather warm in my... Up in the garret. Very lucky to have this space. It's really lovely. It's a studio. It's a, quite a large room in the loft which was purpose-built 30 odd years ago. Uh, okay, now then, uh, if, I, if I could darken something over there, um, I, I like a bit, bit of blue and a bit of the burnt sienna. I see burnt sienna and ultramarine there, marriage made in heaven. Look at that. Look, it's like a very, very dark green. If I just darken here a little bit, and when it's dry, I can scrape a little bit of that out and make it into a sort of a, a yacht. Okay. Now I'm going to really darken in there now, so I've got a bit of blue, a bit of grey to that. So I can get a real good separation there. Right, okay, I'm going to do a little bit here because that is the same sort of distance. So it's the ultra mist of blue I want to get in to give that distance. By re wetting with the, the colour, you can still etch out the details. Alright, okay, now we're putting some darks in, in this foreground here. But I want the blues because they're shadows, as well. Shadow colours. Right, okay, so that is that. Now, I'm going to dry that because I want to do some rigor work and I want to scrape out there, or well, lift out, and I want to put in a tree, a bare tree. That has sort of gone back a bit, hasn't it? So let's just, let's just reinstate that a little bit.
sort of making that slope again. Right, I'm going to let that go. I'm quite pleased with that. I, I, I might have mucked it up a little bit, but let's just get that blue in there. Right, okay, so drying time. Now I'm fixing it with the dryer so that I can carry on working on it. I don't want this to blur now. So here we go. Okay, mute now. I'm going to do a bit of a lifting out now. And the first thing I want to lift out, I'm going to just, well I can use the hake, can I? just a damp hake. Get it nice and straight. And we'll have our tree coming up here I think. Just lift out. Somebody's here. Okay, while that's wet, I'm going to go with a darker colour. Burn umber, and I think burn umber and ultramarine would do. Quite strong. So I'll give a nice grey. So let's go the other side of that. And that light. No, I don't want that thick now. I've used very little paints grain this. I just wanted that light to be preserved, but it's banished. So I can, might lift out a bit of it later. for the water with a bit of dry brush in a minute. I just want to get some of this stuff in. Well I might leave that quite light there. I quite like that. I've just put a bit of dry brush across there. Alright, uh, I'm going to go back to uh, my inch, my inch brush. Put in a bit, of, a bit of a jetty. It's all broken down. Just adds a little bit of bit of life to it, and um, we'll go dark underneath. I think. And dark on the back side. Okay. All just adds just a little bit of something. Okay, another rigger. 
then I will add some twiggies and leaves to Look at that dark on that side. Mix a bit of paint grey with the dispersion on it. I'm trying to get a shadow, but I think things are big enough. Clean that. I'll, I'll just want to put a, a bit of the rigging out to dry my lake and dip in the sienna and the paint's grey. I just put in a few bits and pieces of this. Try to make it a bit random. Right, I just want to put a little bit of stuff down the bottom of these. Just to disguise them and thicken up a couple of those. But before I do, I'm going to just lift out a little bit of a, a yacht sail, and for that, I'll use this half inch flat. Mm. I think I'll clean that properly for the acrylic. Must be a bit of rag now. Oh. That's alright. Give that clean with some soap, I think. Right, so we've got the tissue. Well, I have my tissue. Take another little bit. Okay, so we'll just lift out. a little bit on there and that's why I did that dark so that we could put these little yachts in it's all we need just uh, just paint Okay, so that will do for that. Uh, could be a little bit nothing, just lift out a little bit of a, bit of a roof. It's quite worked, is it? Right, let's go back a stage and just right. I'll do. Now I'm just going to go over and just thicken these these up.
Right, so now, with a hake, it's just going to do that now. Just little highlights. Get a bit of perspective on that. Where's the bogging down in the detail, isn't it? Right, I'm going to... That's just got a little bit of fat there. So I'm just I'm going to just make that even more nice on there. Uh, Right, that's a bit better. Okay, I don't think we need much more detail than that other than the signature and probably a little bird. Got enough detail in there, I think. Right, now I should have put a bit of dry brush in. Not a lot. Be careful with this so you don't just disturb what's underneath. And I'll put in oh, that's a little bit of one there. Right, I can't do much more than that. Let's put it in a oh I'll just squeeze my brush out. Uh, Bit of tape. I've got the blue mount back, the dirty blue mount. It's, it's had an acrylic abstract which, which I call Out on the Downs. I like it. And it's got quite a few coats of varnish on it, or acrylic varnish. I was watching a demonstration by somebody yesterday, and I'm just wondering why. She was using the extender to, so, so it doesn't dry too quickly. I was just wondering why you can't buy acrylic paint with the extender already in it if you want. Other, other than they have to sell you more to make more profit. Uh, right, okay, so we're going to, there we are, it's sort of an abstract, so let's uh, bring the camera around. I think, I think it might, might be better if I just carried on a little. Just a bit of further up here. Off the paper. It's like I've stopped because I've got a a border, a margin, but it's better to carry things off rather than make it look as if you've fitted something in. I don't think they've worked, that's worked very well actually. Uh, but anyway, that's what it is. I'll sign it. And I'll upload it. Make sure I sign it. Sign it on this block. Right, there we are. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Bye for, bye for now.